breaking news. All right, guys, it is February 17th, 2022. We have five updates. We have 12 new mods and we have one new map. So the updates are new Bartle Shagan. That's the map. We have an update for the Man TGX4 semi truck. We have updates for the Sawmills pack, the Silos multi fruit, and the Silos Nuero multi fruit pack. Now, these 12 new mods, technically, we have more than 12 mods because there's several packs in here that are going to include um, multiple implements or, or buildings. So you can kind of look at it that way. Um, the new map, it, it's it's basically like another flat map. It's a map that's um, completely void and you can build up on it and make it your own. So not really my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people like to build their own farms. Let's uh, let's get in the store and let's check out some of the new mods though. First up, we have the Mac Flatbed Pack. This is gonna be 29.76 megabytes to download and install. And this is this is pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm kind of digging this. If they work better than the base game truck. So we have the Pinnacle 6x6, $93,500. This is gonna take 15 slots. This is gonna range between 425 and 505 horse. We have the Anthem 6x6. Again, $93,500. This takes up 13 slots. 425 to 505. Then we have the Superliner 6x6. $110,000 takes up 14 slots. 500 horsepower. So let's uh, let's take a look at these. All right, so the 6x6, we have design. We have day cab. Day cab fairing. Engine design engine design engine setup so we have the 425 horse 455 and a 505 main color anything you want there of course room color again we have anything like that there and the license plate So here is the Anthem 6x6, the designs are the Day Cab, Day Cab Premium. Design, Design 1, Design 2, so it just gives us those extended mirrors there. And just set up, we have the 425 horse, 455, and the 505 again. Colors again, all the same colors as before. Superliner 6x6. This is the one I like. This is the one I like. Design 1, Design 2. So basically the same designs as the in-game. No, maybe we have a couple more. I don't remember that design. I remember that one and that one, but not that one. And we could change the rim colors. Pretty cool. That is the Mac Flatbed Pack. Here we have the JCB 419S. Oh, I have to change it again because, again, I thought that was a 5 in the Mod Hub. They keep doing this to me. This is going to be 11.00 megabytes to download and install. It is a wheel loader. It takes up 6 slots, 195 horsepower. Let's take a look at the configurations on it. Four wheels. We have Trollerborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Revertestein, Nokians, back to shoulder board. We have standard, we have wides. It looks like that's what we're going to have across the board. Very good. Design, we have standard, we have one beacon, two beacons, strobe beacon. Interesting. Back to standard, main color. You can change it to anything you want there. And you can change the rim colors. So that is the JCB 419S. Here we have the Pottinger Nova Disc Pack. So see, this is what I mean, guys. So you have three mods in this pack. We have three mods in the Mac Flatbed Pack. So technically, we are getting more than the 12 if you consider you're getting multiple mods in one pack. This is going to come in at 9.87 megabytes 
These are mowers. So the first one is the Nova Disc 265, $6,500, 2.6 meter work with, takes up three slots. The 305, $7,200, three meters, takes up three slots. And the 350 at $8,500 is three and a half meters and takes up three slots. These are all mowers. So let's take a look and see. All right, green logo, none. Logo back. Okay. Logo front. I'm going to say yeah, both logos. And none. Swath plate, yes. No, that's an interesting one, actually. Tank plus weight set balls. So we have both. Only weight set balls. Only tank. Now, I have no idea what that tank is for. I'm not seeing the capacity on it, so... I don't know. Main color? Yellow rubber? Or yellow plastic? Uh... <laughs> my eyes really aren't seeing a difference here. Okay, so that changes that. No, I don't want to purchase it. Alright, so that changes that little bit of design there. So that is the Pottinger Nova Disc pack. Ah, uh, okay, so this is the FAR APN Baylor and Auto Loader Bail Trailer. This is going to be 7.18 megabytes to download and install. We get a, uh, a small, like, old style, I'm, I'm guessing, Baylor. And we're getting an auto load bell trailer. The Baylor, $8,000, 1.5 meter work width, takes up two slots, makes 49 centimeters square bells. Only takes 15 horsepower to run. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. The auto load bell trailer is gonna be $5,000, takes up three slots. Uh, 105 bales? 105 bales. Is that for real? Let's take a look at this one first here. 105 bales. That's a lot. That is a lot. We, we may have to check that out. So main color, you can change it to anything. Rim color, you know, you can do that. License plate. I can't get my head around 105 bales, man. That's that's pretty impressive. And this is an auto load, so yeah, we may have to check that out. The baler. Okay, you're not gonna get any configurations with that, which that doesn't really shock me. So that is the far APN baler and auto loader bell trailer. Next up we have the lizard multi-snow bucket. This is gonna be 6.50 megabytes to download and install. It's gonna cost eleven thousand dollars take up five slots this is going to have a 4.6 to 5 meter work width 6,000 to 9,000 liter capacity um, this is an interesting one so configuration we have standard and we have extension design we have basic D edition so basically that just extends that out a little bit bucket edges shark P300 All, all sores 500 <laughs> okay so it just changes that that little bit right there so that is the lizard multi snow bucket next up we have the, oh, the go go wheel go wheel bell pack <laughs> if I'm not pronouncing that right I, I apologize this is gonna be 2.44 megabytes to download and install we have the go uh, wheel <laughs> I, I read that as big time. BTGME. $2,000 takes up two slots. This is, of course, for round bales. And then we have the DTR, $4,000, takes up two slots. This is also for round bales. This holds two bales, though. So let's take a look at this one. This is your just common kind of bale fork for round bales here. So we have new, we have old. And the DTR. Same thing, we have new and we have old. And with this one.
I'm not. I'm not sure how this works. I don't see any spikes on this. Hmm. Interesting. The last mod that we have in the store to look at is the drawbar. This is going to be 0 0.57 megabytes. We actually have another drawbar mod in the game already. $140 takes up two slots. We can change the main color. Ah, looks like there's some different colors here. Design color. And just like that. So that is the draw bar. Now, <laughs> again, the placeables. That's that's where we have a ton of mods to look at. Okay, so first up for the placeables and god guys, this is always such a pain in the butt for the placeables, but the first one we have is the barn. And it's actually under silos because it is in fact a hayloft. This is gonna be 9.57 megabytes to download and install. It's gonna take 10 slots, it's gonna cost $55,000 and it holds 500,000 liters. So let's just place that. Let's spin this around to make sure. I'm gonna kind of put that there like that. Run over here and take a quick look at this. I mean, it's, it's little, just simply a hayloft. Not bad design. I'm sure it does what it's supposed to. So that is the barn. Next up, let's see here if we can't find these things. Guessing is this here. It, it says in the mod hub water tower. That says water tank, so I'm gonna assume that's it. Water tower, 4.28 megabytes cell install, takes up one slot, $7,800. That's going to look like that. Next up, we have a bridge pack. Um, I don't know. Okay. Looks like this is it right here. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. Eight bridges. It's very interesting. Okay, so the bridge pack is going to be 3.69 megabytes to download and install. We have the small bridge, $550, takes up two slots, $700 for the single wheel bridge, $925 for the medium sized bridge, $1,225 for the large size bridge, uh, $988 for the single wheel bridge large, $1,105 for the single wheel bridge extra large. For the XL size bridge, it's 1560 For the XXL size bridge, it's 2780 And they all take up two slots. Let's, uh... Okay. Okay. So, yeah, it's... It's, it's a bridge. Now, let's see here. Can we... Kind of connect these together? Or no? What if we just do that there? Uh... Yeah, we can't lower these down, unfortunately. So you can't really connect them. So I'm guessing these would be to kind of cross something? Let's see what the other ones look like. What does this one look like here? Medium-sized bridge. Okay. All right, so that's the bridge pack. Next up, we have, let me just get this right, guys. Okay, we'll take a look at that one next, and then we'll take a look at these other ones last, because the last ones, man, they're a, uh, they're, they're a big pack. Um, sugar beet processing plant. This one here is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So let's place this. $125,700, this is gonna take up six slots. Um, this is also going to be 6.95 megabytes to download and install. Now, we we'll just take a look over here and look at that. I, I kind of wish there was a way that you could, you know, rotate that in the opposite axis, but it's nice looking. I mean, it looks like a brand new wooden bridge. Very nice. 
Okay, so moving over to this. This thing is pretty cool. You put your beets in here. And you put beets and water in here. The water will wash the beets, get all the dirt and stuff off the beets, and this will turn your beets into a beet pulp. And the outcome of this is you get beet pulp and the dirty water you can use as slurry or digestate, which I think is pretty freaking cool, man. I don't know. I don't know if those are lights. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is, but let's see here if this comes up. Uh, let's see if this comes up in the uh, production. Sugar beet water. Okay, so sugar beet and water. We got sugar beet cut, slurry, and stones. Very interesting. Cycles a month. 960,000 cycles a month. So you put your sugar beets in water and you collect cut sugar, uh, cut sugar beet, slurry, and stones. This thing, this thing could actually be worth the money considering what you get out of it. That That's pretty cool. We may have to do another video testing this but that is the sugar beet processing plant and uh now i will be right back with the uh the last pack of the day i believe yeah all right guys so the last pack that we have today is a massive one and this is going to be murder going through this is the american farm building pack this is a whopping 89.53 megabytes to download and install. There's a lot within this pack. So, first of all, under farmhouses, scroll oh, all the way over here. So I want to say these first, first two are the base game. Then we have farmhouse, the first three, the farmhouse, white, red, and blue. Man, these are all 29 slots and they're all 50 grand. Now, of course, I can't show you guys these because we already have a farmhouse on this map. Then we have these sets of farmhouses here, farmhouse red, blue, and white. These are 27 slots. These are $40,000 a piece. Then the last three, we have farmhouse beige, red, and blue. These take up 32 slots. 32 slots and they cost 30,000 a piece. Wow, 32 slots. I mean, yeah, again, we're only allowed one for farm, but wow. Kind of high on the slot count, but I guess you're gonna use these to build your own farm. So with the new maps that we got, this would be kind of perfect if, you're, if you want to build an American style map. Okay, so those are the farmhouses. Uh, tools, are there any tools? I, I, yeah, I believe there are, so. We have the Farm Garages Workshop. We can have a red one, a blue one, or a brown. These take up six slots. And these only cost 20,000, so let's let's put up a blue one here. Kind of like that. And you know, I mean... So, technically, is this just... <laughs> Yeah, I kind of feel like, well, aside from that, I kind of feel like this is the barn that we already have. This is definitely just the barn that we already have with the workshop. We already have this mod for this, but uh, that is in this pack. So let's see here. What else do we have? That was under tools, containers. Doesn't look like we have anything under containers for this. Damn it. Uh, for sheds. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, so 
We have a lot of sheds. Wow. So we have the old barn, uh, various colors. 5,000 takes out five slots. Let's take a look at this one here. Where is the opening to this? Is that the front? I have no idea. So we'll place that one like that. And we have, wow, we have long garage, long garage blue, green, red. And these all take up four slots. They cost five grand a piece. So let's pop one of those up just to take a look at it. There we go. And then we have over here, open hall, open hall blue, green, red. These take up five slots. These all cost four grand. This is the open hall. Okay. Place that there. And then moving on, we have large open hall, blue, green, and, and red again. Seven slots, six grand. I mean, these actually are fairly affordable. We'll put that one there. Then we have over here, is this the end? Yes, this is the end. So we have carport with hut, takes up three slots. We have carport small, takes up three slots. These are each $500. Then we have Carport medium takes up three slots. That's seven fifty. Carport large takes up three slots. That ah, three slots. That's a thousand dollars. So let's drop this down. Of course, the carports are pretty tiny. There we go. Now under silos. Let's see here. Uh farm silo I don't I don't know I mean that could be I'm gonna say that that probably is so four slots ten thousand dollars holds five million liters there's that let's see here silo extension Boy, I don't I don't know guys the problem is, I don't know if these are base game mine. It doesn't tell me. I, I don't think they are. Um, production. I don't think there's anything in production. Animals. Doesn't look like there's anything under animals. So let's see decoration fences. all the way to the end here to see uh, it doesn't look like we have anything for fences others so we have decorative houses okay so that's definitely going with the pack so we have decorative house white we can put that down there 29 slots jeez that's and wait a minute once we place them there's still 29 slots, $500. Then we have this house here. Again, 27 slots, $500. And then for 32 slots, $500, we have this house here. Now these are actually identical to the farmhouses with the sleep triggers. They're just decorative. This actually looks like the barn we have up at the main farm on our Elm Creek playthrough. Uh, door? Don't tell me that's the only door. Oh, okay, there's that one too. There's not a door in the middle here? Oh, okay. There we go. So we can open that up like that. What about this side? That side too? Nope, not that side. Now lights, can we open up the back? Okay, we can open up the back as well. It's weird that we can't open up these. It seems like we should be able to, but... Okay, so that's the kind of like old style barn. Then 
we have Matt there. Uh, there's lights in here. There are lights. No light switch there. Is there a light switch to the back here? Nope, no light switch. So I'm going to assume that those lights go on automatically at dark. God, you know, I'm trying to get these these mod reviews done quickly, but with these mods, man, it's just really hard to try to get them out in a timely manner. So this is the bigger one. This is actually pretty nice. I, I like these. I like the lights in this one. That's kind of interesting. I like that design. Take a look. We have this carport with this. Oh, that's a shame. It'd be nice if that little shed could open and you could go in there. Carports, they are what they are. Nothing too spectacular. Silo. And the decorative houses. Uh, so I, I hope that's all that was in that pack. Like I say, these, uh, these packs, I really wish they would label what are mods and what are in the build menu. But anyway, guys, I'm pretty sure that's all that we have for today. Um, th th these, these placeables are interesting. It, it's really interesting because, like I said, it's really hard to figure out what is in these packs in the build menu. I wish they had a better way of sorting it out. But anyway, guys, those are the mods for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And we'll probably see you tomorrow.